Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I just want to show you how to install Python and pip on Mac using the official Python installer. So by the end of the video, you should be able to just create Python files like this, run them from anywhere, um, install third-party patches, things like that. But so the most common way to install Python is using the installer package from the official Python website, which is this right here. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but basically, when you're once you're here, just click this download Python button. Uh, the version will be different probably depending on when you're watching this video. Right now it's 3.12.5. After you click this, it'll be added to your downloads. Specifically, it'll be a package file or .pkg. And after you've done this, just navigate over to your downloads and just double click on the installer. And what it'll do is it'll just take you through the windows where you just have to click continue with all this stuff. This is all reading. So information, if you wanna read on uh, where it will install things, what it'll do but I'll basically just give you a summary as we go through. But just accept everything, agree to the license. It'll tell you how much space it takes. But after installing that, what you should get is inside applications, we will have a folder right here called Python, and then it'll be the version. So double click in this, and here we can see all the stuff that it has installed. And basically, much of this doesn't matter, but it is a way to prove that the installation worked. The first thing is to click on IDLE right here. So this stands for Integrated Development and Learning Environment, and it's basically just a way to write, test, and debug Python code. So this opens up a shell with Python, and so you can just run some Python commands like two plus two, you get four, print, hello world, and it runs. And this essentially verifies that it is working correctly on your computer, that was it was installed correctly. And the next thing is the Python installer also added Python to the path environment variable. So this means when we open up a terminal, so say I just open up a terminal like this, no matter what window you're in, you will be able to run Python 3 because it added it to our path variable. We can run this Python executable wherever we want. And to double check this, just run Python 3 and then tag on version and it'll list it out like this. And to further check this works, we can also just create a simple Python file and then run it with Python. And I'm actually just gonna do this all in the terminal. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna echo hello world into a file called mypythonfile.py. So what this did is just appended this text into this file. And we can see that by if we cat out the contents of this file, we have print hello world. And now we can just run this with Python. So my Python file, and we can see it's all working. And then the final thing just wanna let you know is that installing Python this way also comes with the Python package manager, which is called pip, P-I-P. And once again, we tag on a three, and we can see this was installed in our path variable by running pip3 version. And we can see we have version 24.2. And essentially this tool will just allow us to install Python packages that other developers have written. So say one of your friends wrote a cool library, you can use this to install it if they've put it up online. But that's all it takes to install Python on Mac. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. But besides that, thanks for watching and have a good one.